Hello there, in this video we're going to be talking about how to use haptic effects or uh, force feedback in your Android game. So in this game, it's my new game, you can uh, download the template for free by the way. Uh, I have some mechanisms like uh, shooting with a gun or uh, like just punching people out and these things uh, are going to give the player a sense of motion a sense of uh, a punch a shot in their hands and that's going to be uh, available with this node exactly this note here which <laughs> I just lost it so here it's called play dynamic force feedback it's coming from the get play controller so if you get player controller and then you can just type in force uh, play dynamic force feedback right here uh, and this is what you get and the default value for duration is minus one which is too much I'd say put something less than 0.1 for me it's uh, 0 0.07 was not bad intensity the low the lowest you could go is 0.3 you could you can't really go uh, below that so it's not like a complete haptic effect it's uh, it's super close to it but it's not a real real haptic effect I'm sorry to say that but I, I really did not find any uh, solution for that but dynamic force feedback uh, intensity 0.3 it's pretty close it's pretty good and it doesn't drain battery power uh, and it, it just looks looks pretty and it feels really good um, and yeah whenever you punch whenever you shoot with a gun or whenever you want it to happen just start it with this node remember it's got a duration if you want it to uh, vibrate as long as something happens you can use this event as well so start it with this put the duration to something like 20 30 or uh, I don't know something really really long and then uh, use another custom event to stop it right here uh, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. And if it did, please hit that like button and have a great day. Bye.